Alright guys, this is going to be an updated video on how to get, how to lock floors off of Coral Plus Elevator. So I'm going to be using the Sinus M Series Elevator. You can use any type of Coral Plus Elevator you want. First off, we go into the script. Screw it down to where it has the lock floors in Coral Lock. Now they're competent out by default. Uncommit, you know, uncommitted, then lock the specific floors you want. So, since this one here has more than three floors, you're gonna mark, you're gonna only make like one floor locked, which is six. Now, the call lock is similar, and I'll do a video on that later. Now you want to get a DDR prox reader out. You can use any DDR prox reader you want. You can even use the Paxton ones, but I will do. I will go with the Paxton ones later. First, let's go. Let's go. Let's do the regular DDR prox reader, the three bottle ones. So choose whatever reader you want for this pack. I just I just like to go with this type of reader because it is actually uh, an IR prox reader, the same one. My opponent uses, so we gotta delete the rest. Now we got a reader here. Now mom may may look may act weird when this happens, but you want to move move this in the elevator and place it in the spot you want to place it. So, I'll place it onto the side of this elevator. I'm gonna move it down. I'm gonna move it close to the button. And then, make sure this is in the car. And then now we're gonna get to the scripting. Get rid of the beans thing here, because you don't even need the beans. So, get rid of this. Type in script dot parent dot parent dot parent colon wait for child card reader dot value equals true. Now you want, if you could type this if you want, but you can copy this and then copy it here, except replace true with false. And then you got the reader done. So we're gonna get a DDR, you're gonna get a card, which I'm gonna choose a Paxton file for this testing. I recommend you click play here if you want to play next to the elevator without having to use a spawn point. I'm going to wait until it loads in. Now we got to wait until the elevator boots up, of course. Here we go. Now, of course, we're going to see that 4 6 should be locked. And yes, it is. If we scan the Paxton fog, it beeps. And if I press 6, there we go. It works. Now I'm actually going to do the call off one now since it's so easy to do. So let's stop. Let's, let's get out of the ga game. Now I'm not going to do it all the way to the top. I'm going to do it right here. So, you could put a card reader to make just a call lock. Now, doing just making it so that the card reader will call the elevator. You put the, just in the shaft, and you don't have to do anything. You, just, you might have to move the up button as well, but we're going to be doing the call lock for this one. So, go into the script. Now, there is a call lock on this one. Some, some scripts may not have this, but it's an easy add. 
We only gonna be locking floor zero, which is the ground. And we're gonna be using in this time we're gonna be using the the Paxton ones. And that disappeared for no reason. Okay, let's bring that in. Get we go over here to get the get everything. Get get rid of it. Alright, so I'm gonna now cop now paste. Right, where'd that go? Oh, it's up here. Hey, how it doesn't teleport me. If you're wondering, yeah, I do have the old icons, so. And this might be a boring video, but who knows. So, you, so if you want, you can rotate this. So, we moved. Now, here's what you have to do. So, do not move the files that are in here. They are needed. But, you're going to get rid of the buttons and the bell, bell thing. Now, here's where you can choose whatever video you want. I'm just going to go with this one. Now, you could go with white, you could go with the metal ones. And then, now you have to have the cabinet in here, or else the whole system's not going to work. This should be similar on DDR Prox, the regular ones. So I'm gonna put it next to here. Now to, and now make sure you make it so that the cabinet's not not floating. You know that the cabinets could float, so let's really leave it like that. Now this will depend on what type you have. So right now we see you have this. Now if you're on the prox, you go to the settings, not the package, the re the re settings. Like if I go back into the car you go to settings there. Now this one will also have to be in there, but we actually have to be in the shaft for zero right there. We gotta remove this, and then it will be the same as similar, similar, same, basically the same as the floor lock, except it's only two parents. It's basically the same except there's only there's only need for like two parents and not uh three. Oh, I forgot to put you do also need to put a you also do need to put an equal in between this. So it won't be this won't have this red underline. Make sure it's equal true, equal false here. Denied. You leave that you leave that as is. You don't need to touch it. Even in even if I go to here to the this one here. You don't need to touch it. It's fine where it is. Now we're going to play test it. Now since it's really notice I played here, it's it's gonna rec register I want to play here again, so it's just gonna remember the, what I currently played there. So you let into everything loads. It may take a while, depending on how many elevators are in your game. Now we can use the same card, but if we press the button, there's no click, no light. Now we adjust for that if we can get it. There we go. When we press it, it opens the door. This is an updated video on how to do a full lock inside the car. And now here's an, a video on how to do the car lock. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.